1.4, um, really short topic this one. So we're looking at perpendicular bisectors. So to show you what that is, if we have a line, or even a line segment, perhaps for A to B, So perpendicular bisector, if we break down the words, perpendicular means it's going to be a line at a right angle to this line. And bisector means it cuts it, sect, bisect, and by two, it's going to cut this into two evenly length bits. So the perpendicular bisector is going to cut this into two evenly length parts at a right angle. So there you go, the perpendicular bisector is a line perpendicular that goes through the middle of the line drawing two points. So there we go. Right, how we work it out is we need two kind of separate ways to do it. First of all, we need to work out, well, what is the coordinate that this goes through? We need to know what that point is. And then we've got the points. We also need the gradient, which is going to be the perpendicular gradient to A and B. With both of those tools, we can work out what the perpendicular bisector is. So, first things first, we're going to start with finding out the midpoint of two points. And the midpoint of two points is actually the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. So, so the average of the x coordinates we can say is going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2. The average of the y's is going to be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that will give you the midpoint as a set of coordinates. The other thing we need as a tool is the perpendicular gradients. So remembering gradient is y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. So the perpendicular gradient is the negative reciprocal of the original. So, with all these things together, we can calculate what a perpendicular bisector is for any two points. So let's go for an example with that. Right, so find the equation of the perpendicular bisector to the points 3 minus 2 and 1, 6. So again, because we're trying to find the equation of a line, we need two things. We need a gradient and we need a point. So first of all, we'll start with the easy one. Let's find the gradient. So, um, pen. so the gradient of the line joining these two points, difference in y, so 6 take minus 2, over 1 minus 3, which is 8 over minus 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we get minus 4. So our perpendicular gradient going to be the negative reciprocal. Reciprocal of 4 is a quarter, negative, so it's going to be plus a quarter. So that's our gradient. Now we need a point, which is going to be the midpoint between these two, which from here is the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So average of the x's A is going to be 3 plus 1. Average of the y's is going to be minus 2 plus 6. So 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 divided by 2 <coughs> is 2. Minus 2 plus 6 is going to be minus 4, no it's not, it's going to be 4. And 4 divided by 2 is also 2, so our midpoint is actually 2, 2 for those points. So now we've got the gradient, we've got the midpoint. If we put those two things together, we can find our perpendicular bisector. So back to our trusty line equation y minus 2 equals a quarter x minus 2. Add 2 over there, so y equals a quarter x minus a half plus 2 is going to give us plus. That is the equation of the perpendicular bisector between those two points. Alright, let's try one more and get you guys to try this one. 
So there you go, if you guys can give this a go, and I'll go through it in a second. Remember, find the midpoint, find the gradient, find the negative reciprocal gradient, and put all of that together into the line equation. Pause the video, give that a go. Okay, so first of all, midpoint. So average of the x is average of the y's, so 0 plus 3 over 2, over 2 plus 6, over 2. So we get 3 over 2 and 4. Cool. Uh, now we need our gradient. So y2 take y1, 6 take 2, over x2 take x1, 3 take 0, which gives us 4, 3. So the perpendicular gradient is going to be minus 3 over 4. So using our point and using our gradient, we can now put it together and find the perpendicular bisector. So y minus 4 equals minus 3 over 4. Two. Expand the brackets. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, and now we need four in terms of eight. So that's going to be thirty-two over four. Point thirty-two over eight. So you guys are probably using calculators and find this much easier. Add that over. So that gives us 41 over 8. If you wanted, we could time through everything by 8 and get... Yeah. 8y minus 6x plus 41. Cool, right, that's it for today then. Um, so try the quiz quickly just on perpendicular bisectors, and then we're done with corner geometry for a while. Excellent.